Map markers on the Osmond Maps and Navigation app are a way of quickly marking a set of points of interest for later use. They serve as a kind of scratch pad, a list of places you might visit. They are easy to make, easy to delete, but with some limitations as well. I think of them as temporary, although you can convert them to a more lasting format. Map markers were introduced to the Android version of Osmond, version 2.3, in March 2016. The easiest way to make a map marker is to long touch a location on the screen, and then push the flag icon second to left. If I do that again, I get a second map marker of a different color. The same is true with subsequent map markers. The markers come in different colors, and notice too that they are all unlabeled. But if I press any marker, I can see its underlying information with the option to delete it. You can see the list of these markers by pressing on the menu button in the lower left and then selecting Map Markers. These are all San Francisco points of interest, but notice that the labels only list their street names, which are not particularly informative, nor can these names be changed. So I'm going to clear these and start over. Notice when I do that, they remain for a while under history. The better approach, I think, is to use map markers in conjunction with Osmond Search Facility. Let's say I'd like to visit the City Lights bookstore while I'm in San Francisco. I search for it. Select it. Press the flag icon and it's marked, this time with a meaningful name. Here are those same five points of interest, this time created using search. And now when I go to the list, the labels clearly state what those points of interest are. The initial order has the most recently created marker on top, but I can reverse the order or arrange the items manually. There are also some options for displaying map markers under the Configure Screen menu. I've had the setting on None. If I change it to Top Bar, I see up to two map markers, an arrow pointing to their direction from where I am, along with the straight line distance from where I am. These are the first two map markers I entered. Rearranging the list doesn't affect that. There's also a handy shortcut in the upper left that shows you the full list. If I instead select Widgets, the first two markers I entered show up in the upper right. As I mentioned, map markers are largely designed to be temporary placeholders, but you can make a set of markers semi-permanent by saving them as a GPX. Once I've done that, even if I clear the markers, I can get them back. To display the GPX I just made, I first go to Menu, then My Places, and then My Tracks. Here under Map Markers is the GPX, identified by the date and time I saved it. And here they are again, this time with their on-screen labels.